This is Dane with Divine Office, and I wanted to take a moment and show you around the user interface for the new iOS Divine Office 2. There have been several questions that I'd like to clear up right away. Um, most of them have to do with uh, not being familiar with some of the new features. So I'll just do a quick tour. Um, first of all, the screen comes up. This is the prayer listing view. And at the very top, you can see that today uh, that I'm recording is January 2nd. And uh, it is the memorial of Basil the Great and Gregory Nanzianzen, both bishops. If you, you'll see that the icon to the right indicates there's religious art. You can tap on the religious art and view it. You can, um, and you can tap on this to the uh, sharing button to save this particular image to your photo library. Um, you can tap back to return. And looking at the prayer listing screen, we can see that the about today is uh, text only. That's the end what that uh, icon represents. Below this are all little play buttons, and they are the uh, they indicate that there's an audio file attached to this prayer. You can actually tap each one of these and, and begin the playback. Or when you tap right directly, so if I tap on the um, the icon, playback will begin without entering into the prayer. However, most of you will want to tap on the label and enter in, and we'll go into that in a moment. That's That'll show us the uh, prayer player screen. At the bottom, you'll see a navigation, a date picker, a navigation bar that navigation, navigates to each one of the days in the future. One day in the past and as many days into the future have, as you have set up for downloading in your settings. You'll notice that the uh, there's a, a speed indicator of the download speed indicator. Of right now, it's bouncing around around 315 kilobytes per second, 302 kilobytes per second. That's uh, that right there. Is it just indicating how um, rapidly audio files are being downloaded? In the middle is the Now in Prayer. You can tap on that to take you to the, the globe where you'll view the people who are presently in prayer with you. Uh, and to the right of that is the Content Refresh button. When we tap on the Content Refresh button, it's this circular, these two circular arrows. It will, it will go and check that, to see if there's new content for today only. Let's uh, navigate to Saturday, January 3rd, tomorrow. So I'm just sliding with my finger. I'm sliding to Saturday 3rd. And you'll see that the date at the top changes to January 3rd. It's called the Most Holy Name of Jesus. And here we have all of our prayers. Let's go one more day so that uh, it's trying to find one that's not downloaded. So we're going to keep on going. Here you can see the status icons where you'll see that um, the audio has been downloaded for the top three prayers and morning prayers being downloaded right now, indicated by the spinning icon. And the uh, green arrows indicate that there, still, there is audio there yet to be downloaded. So let's, now up at the very top left corner is the sidebar navigation. Uh, user interface designers would call that a hamburger. It's the three vertical lines. I'm going to tap on that. And you'll see here what we call the sidebar navigation. When you click on the top one today, that'll return you to today. That brings you back. Um, the liturgical calendar, first time it runs, it'll take just a moment and it'll download the content. We won't get into the details and meaning of, um, of the entries here, but uh, I'll do that in a, in a different um, video. And the now in prayer, this is displays that there's 150 people now in prayer. I'm kind of at an off time because you'll see this go over a thousand uh, during some times of the day. So here's uh, you can scan, you can pinch and zoom in and out, uh, roll around the world. Now, um, sometimes it's useful to take a look at Facebook to see the latest post. If there's some announcements, something that's going on. Uh, same thing with Twitter. We'll we'll do quick uh, announcements on Twitter occasionally. Uh, your settings here. These are this is where you'll change your um, options for downloading audio. You can uh, click on the audio. Um, download button there and uh, decide to turn off the audio download if you if you're concerned about bandwidth or you know or um, storage space on your device you can turn it off here you can limit your audio downloads to Wi-Fi only here's your here's 
how you control how many days into the future the audio files will be downloaded. So the maximum right now is 21 days. And uh, in the future, we may start uh, increasing the number of days. So I'm going to just uh, put mine back down to a default of one week. Now, there's one important uh, button here, and this is this uh, clear all contents. So if you're having difficulty with content or if it looks incorrect, when you hit this clear all contents, it will literally take, it'll delete all the audio files and all the text from the Divine Office app. It won't affect any other apps on your device. It won't erase anything else, but it'll clear the content of the app. And this lets us start over again. Fresh content should co correct any content issues you may have seen or noticed. So keep in mind that that's available. So you have this clear all contents. That's that's um, that's one step more drastic than this uh, this lower right icon that's just update. You know, check for a content refresh for today. So that's what this one, and I'm going to just tap it now, and you'll see it spins when you when it uh, is working. Okay, so you saw it briefly spin there. All right, and back to the sidebar menu. Here you have uh, opportunities of feedback and support. This, uh, if you'll report a bug, suggest an idea, uh, or subscribe to our new newsletter, or visit our support site. All of these are um, options uh, for communicating with us.